Interesting. Put on our fancy beacon thingy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What is this? These like places for potential satellites? What's going on there? I guess that's what that is. Maybe. I don't know. Looks like some kind of basis. Scan for activity. Arc thrower research project complete. So in the meantime, while we were scanning, finally finished this thing. Completer research. Oh boy, we built a taser that might not work. Might be more effective to weaken them first. Good to know. Two shots per deployment. Good to know. So now we have an arc thrower. Experimental warfare. Someone was saying the autopsies are pretty important. And this one's been up there for a while. There's autopsies, armor. Weapons. Unlike the first game, the autopsy unlocks stuff. Okay, see, I never played the original, so... See, so yeah, it sounds like, uh... We'll do this. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen we brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Alright, well, we'll let you guys look into it. I'll be out there shooting things, or at least commanding the people that shoot things. Deal with the icky stuff. Alright, so that's doing that. The alien containment should be done soon. At least my guys are getting healed up in the meantime. Uh, okay, both of those are good. That'll be good in two days. All right, engineering, what were they doing? No current projects. That's because they were making my guys with their, uh... Were they making my guys... Medic kit. Which they still got a few days to work. He's good. His loadout's about what it probably should be. Ability, so he's got the headshot and the squad sight, and well, that's right. You can always change their names and what they look like and stuff. 
I see some other streamers whenever they're playing this game, like, alright, we're gonna name these guys after viewers and followers. I thought that was always kind of clever. Might have to do that one of these days. Good night. I'll be in there in a minute. Personally, you like this game for watching better than CSGO? I don't blame you. I'm doing a lot more talking, and I'm kind of getting into it, too, so... I honestly think I am a little bit more entertaining whenever I'm playing this rather than, uh, than Counter-Strike. I, I totally get it. Um, it's a much more uh, personal, much more interactive game, I think. So, I think that's a big part of it. Officer Training School. So, what is this? I can do this, right? It's cheap, right? Purchase. I got money. I can get both of these, right? Wait, why are these so expensive? And why do I, am I not allowed to buy them? I can't... Oh, okay, that's squad size, too. So wait, why can't I... What is this stuff? XCOM soldier must achieve the rank of major. Okay, that's why I can't get these. Captain. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I can get these. Now I can take five people with me. You want to be the one that gets all the chicks? I don't know, we have to look at them and see which ones are the, uh... The dashing young men. We got Corporal Flynn Ray. I mean, come on, Flynn Ray, that's... He kind of looks like that guy. He looks like, you know, he might be a, a ladies' man at the bars. I don't know. Let's see what some of our other guys look like. Some of our main guys. Of course, this guy, he's injured. I don't know, he looks a little too... he looks a little gruff. He got a nice mohawk going, he's got the mustache, which could be a little, uh, scary, uh, to some. A little intimidating. I think he's a little too intimidating. Not as dashing as the other guy. Then Kang Dang Lee, well, he's Korean. So, I don't think that's gonna go for you. Of course, you can always change all this stuff, I'm pretty sure. And then we got a German, Conrad Wright. He looks like he might get along well with ladies too, but uh But you know what we might you get you wanna be our sniper, Al? I think we're gonna make Al Giff our sniper. Mr. Flynn Ray, American boy. Corporal Flynn Ray. More like Corporal Alan Gifford. As long as you don't mind me using your uh, full name, I can change it just to Al Giff. How would I do that? How about I do that? How about it be Al, first name, Giff, last name? We'll do that. You're going to be our sniper. I'll try to do my best to keep you alive, but no promises. I don't know, man. Uh, I'd say you got it. I'd say he'd probably get the ladies. Tall, dark, and handsome right there. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So, got all this cool stuff going on. So do we, what, scan for activity? And if we fuse something, we might have to take other people in there. That's the one thing I'm afraid of. I won't be able to use all my guys, which I guess is not too unusual. But it's nice to have some backups, I suppose. Research project. What are we researching right now? We're researching sectoid optometry. Okay, we'll do that. Um, these guys are working on nothing. Could they build a facility? I guess they're technically working on that, aren't they? I hear there's like different bonuses for putting things in the right places in order, so I'll look into that later. For now, I think they'll be okay. Oh, here we go. Might need to manufacture that. I think we just need one. I know it's kind of important that we get these guys, but... I don't want to sacrifice a lot of firepower. But technically, we're getting an extra guy. I'm going to get two. Uh, it was expensive. Uh, I'm gonna get two. 
but I won't necessarily use them. And it's a sidearm. Okay, I didn't realize that it's a sidearm, so you don't necessarily uh, sacrifice firepower. So, might put it on our shotgun guy and one other guy. Uh, I don't think we'd want to put it on our sniper. Kind of seems like he might need his shotgun, and he's going to be far back enough as it is. You know, put it on our assault guy, but of course he might not be ready by then, so we'll wait. We'll wait until we see what kind of mission we have next. All right, so I think we're good to go here. It shows you how much you can actually do just like looking through all this stuff. XCOM finances, we're still only 50, 80 a month, but we had 88 more to spend on this one, so we got a little, you know, we kind of want to keep a little bit of a cushion there, in my opinion. But that's just stingy me. Don't need any more satellites. I don't think we could launch one if we actually we could launch one in certain spots, but. Ending request, nothing. Several Visit the grain market. So, apparently, if we can sell some of this alien stuff, can we buy it too? I'm not selling it. I just I'm wanted sure to see. Leave me alone. If we put ahead of our own and I'm not. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. I don't actually know really what I'm doing. But I have to look like I do because I'm in control. I'm in charge. Construct the alien containment facility. In progress. Okay, the other stuff was completed. That seems completed. Then we have to capture a live alien and interrogate the captive alien. How long is this taking? I think it's almost done, isn't it? No, don't need more info. Pretty sure it's almost done. One day. So as long as... No, not research room. I'm going back. Mission control, there we go. As long as we don't get any missions, within the next 24 hours, we should be okay, right? I guess I could technically wait till it's actually done. How many hours does it need? Can I get a little bit more uh, leeway for that? You put the arc throwers on the rookies, that way I don't risk my good troops. No, that's totally smart. That's what I, I also read, is that the rookies are uh, expendable. So, no, that actually sounds smart if I need to take in guys that aren't uh, my big troops then no, that's perfectly, uh, makes perfect sense. Get in there and tease that thing. Isn't that dangerous? Yes, it is. Now get in there and do it. Alright, what was I going to do? I was going to tuck the misses in real quick and actually get a glass of water. I'm sitting here talking back to my normal talking commentary self, and that means my throat gets dry. So, give me a moment, folks. Put this back on here so you can listen to the nice droning sound of the, uh, the humming of the uh, computers. Excuse me, kitty cat. And maybe the time will even be up by the time I get back, since I do need to take a break. So I'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere!
User joined your channel. Alright, I'm back. Uh, it doesn't look like everything finished or whatever was supposed to happen, but uh, it's only into the PMs already. No problem, we'll still scan. I'm not 100% sure what all these colors mean yet. I think maybe they're panicked areas, like the yellow area is panicked. And uh, you don't want them to be terribly panicked. China seems okay, but... Looks like maybe Japan and India could use some uh, help in the near future. We might have to put up some more satellites after the... Uh, whenever we get paid again. So, let's scan for activity. 
Hey, this thing finally finished. Alien containment facility. Because we know exactly how to contain them. Assign new construction. Why not? What are you going to work on next? Alright, you already got all that. Got all that. Yeah, see, we need more satellites. That's part of the problem. Uh, facilities? Got an alien containment. Do we need to bait? I have to remember how that goes. Like being able to put stuff next to each other. If we excavate this, at least we can excavate and we don't have to worry about actually putting anything there first. Or we could put an access lift in, which might not be a bad idea either. That's kind of expensive. And it gives me a bill. If we just excavate. There we go. That'll give those guys something to work on for the next five days. And everything else. What do we got here? Situation room. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Mission control. Situation room still pretty much. I need to stop checking this stuff. I know what's going on. I think. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's do this again. Interceptor order has arrived at Asia. So, inter okay, they got their interceptor. The sectoid autopsy was finished. Research project complete. So, what did we get out of that? No discernible genetic. Hey! Do, do not start sneezing on me. Um, uh, quite sizable. Cybernetic implants. Combat effectiveness. See, that's one thing I also uh, read in that newbie noob's guide is that uh, cybernetics are actually kind of important. Uplink targeting available for manufacture. Oh, for those. Okay, for the uh, aircraft. Module will burn out after one use. Okay, that's what you were saying. Okay. Good deal. Alright, so... Got that studied. I kind of want this Thin Man Guy autopsy, too. Moving among us, observing without raising an alarm. However, the question remains, how were the aliens able to physically modify the species to achieve this goal? The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Fair enough. You guys get on that. And I'm going to... My soldiers are probably still not... You know, they still got a few days to do their thing. Uh... Do we have enough to buy anything for our plane or uplink targeting? Three sectoid corpses and five engineers. I imagine we have all of that. And ten dollars. Sure. To reduce the cost of items, require more engineers. On it. Uh, what do we have? Three of them? We have three interceptors. It's probably not a bad idea to put one on each. Or does it just use it? I would imagine it uses it depending on how many you have. It doesn't matter. I don't think you actually have to singly uh, put it on each one. 
but it might not be a bad idea to have. I'll put two. How about that? We'll put two. Yay! Now we have two of those. Oh, there we go. Hanger. Maybe this is how we do it. Raven 1. Okay, here we go. Edit loadout. It's got that. Can we put anything else on it? Or is it like I thought? It just kind of goes on all of them, technically. And you have two to use up. That's what it looks like. I think we figured that out. Good to go. Alright, well we got that, and then we got that, and we got that, and mission control. What do we got, buddy? Three days till that, and we got this blue thing that makes different colors, or we can just leave it like that. Scan for activity. Do it! Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Okay, council. Go to the situation room. Hello, council. Panic reduction, new recruit. Oh, that's kind of cool. And get an automatic sergeant. You and official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in India. If this official is killed or abducted by aliens, it would it deadly spread panic and reduce the effectiveness of XCOM. We need a squad of your soldiers. Oh, sure. We don't have our biggest and best guys, but we do have Corporal Giff. So I trust in him. Uh, pff, all these other guys, though. Oh, man, we got a bunch of rookies here. Mr. Ito looks a little big. Uh, let's see here. Can we, like... I say I'll look that big. I don't know why he looks bigger than the others. They won't come with everything starting the same, right? That's what I thought. What? You've been on a mission before? Were you on the first mission? The second one. It was the second one. That's right. So she's been around a little bit, but she got pretty messed up on that first one. Who is this? Oh, are you still... Okay, you're, you're still good. You're ready to go. Squatty, corporal, recruit, 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 recruit. Okay, so one of you... You have some experience, I believe. A little bit. Um, so we're going to put those two things... No, you can't use that, apparently. Who can use... Ah, here we are. Okay, it goes in place of that. I think this is going to be... Okay, sure. You get one support and sniper. We'll give it to you too. Give ourselves the best chance here. All right, and we can give you this med kit thing, right? What does this do? Can save a critically wounded ally from bleeding out. Holding a medikit confers immunity to poison. Can be used to neutralize poison in an ally. I imagine a lot of this is melee range. I imagine you have to be right next to the person, but it's kind of his job. So I hope he's up to the task. All right. So he's got a medikit. One frag grenade, that's plenty, because I don't always like to use frag grenades. Sniper, a couple of arc throwers so we can get one of those dudes alive. Capture a live alien. Yeah. We're going to India, kitty cat. You ever been to India? Me either. Strike two, strike three, you're out. Sky Ranger has arrived at the mission site. Begin assault. Return to base. Why would you even have that option? Nope, didn't like the idea. Heading the back home. For this mission will be in India. Okay. Locate the VIP. Protect the VIP at all costs. 